friends this is harajan once again as usual welcome to selenium web driver interview question and answer part 4 thank you all for watching my videos in case you are enjoying my videos and learning automation testing and java please like and share my videos do not forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notification as and when i will upload any new videos Please provide your valuable comment for any input or suggestion. Stay tuned for my next video. So, in my last three video, I already covered total 75 questions from Selenium WebDriver. Here, in this video, I will cover another set of 25 question and answers from specifically Selenium WebDriver. This does not, this question set does not comprise any kind of framework, maybe test ng, POM like the only specific to Selenium WebDriver. So, this Total 100 questions will be formed specifically from automation testing and Selenium web driver. It is CJ selector using ID attribute for the following element. So here element was given right where input text is there, ID is there, name is there, class name is there. Okay. So you need to create a CJ selector using the ID only. So what is the syntax for create using the ID? Uh, for creating the CJ selector tag name then has an ID value. So here tag name is input right or element starting starting tag name is input then has and id is element username so that is the syntax for creating the cg selector using the id only next question is what is the syntax is a selector using the class attribute so here class name is class username syntax for creating the cg selector using the class only tag name dot class value right so here tag name is input and dot and class value is right use class username so that's why you can create CJ selector using class value only. <coughs> CJ selector using button attribute. So here in the sample example, right? I have given type equal to submit, class equal to button, style one, style two, style three, like that. Okay. So the syntax is like first tag name dot button or button dot all these attribute one by one, right? So here tag name dot button dot style one, style two, style three, or style one. You can create any kind of CJ selector from the specified based on the specified attribute for this particular element. Okay. It is CJ selector using class and name attributes. So why we need to use the other attribute in, apart from class? In case suppose class is not unique, right? So obviously we need to use other attribute also, right? So for using the class syntax is tag name dot class and then you need to third bracket you need to give the other attribute to the corresponding value so here tag name is input dot class username is the class name another attribute value i am taking the name okay in the third bracket name and the value is the username so that's the syntax in case class name is not unique so you need to using the class name you need to use the other attributes how you can create a series select using multiple attributes so here multiple attribute id is there name is there and class name is there right so syntax is tag name then attribute one value again third bracket uh, okay attribute true and value corresponding value attribute n and corresponding value so here tag name is input and attribute is id and value is element username attribute is name value is username attribute is class and value is class username so in case i mean with one particular attribute you are not able to identify the cc selector uniquely so you need to use the multiple attribute sometimes once attribute can fail right but still it will work in case other attribute is passed and using the attribute in case like you are able to user is able to identify the element uniquely so that will also work that is the reason we can use right multiple attributes at the same time say selector this select see the selector using the prefix right prefix means start with right so here you can see for the name right username is there why we need to use the start with or prefix or into the suffix because sometimes for a particular attribute like some uh, some part is dynamic and some pa part is fixed right so we have to use the fixed part right because dynamic part volatile part can change anytime so we should not go ahead with that part okay so syntax is tag name then attribute name this sign equal to prefix of the value here tag name is input then name attribute name and that sign and suppose i am start starting with user i am maybe name can change right Sometimes it can be user ID. So name ID can change, but user is com fixed component, right? That is the reason I am taking with the start with options. How you can create a suffix or end with suppose username. 
name part is fixed but user part sometimes changes to user1 user2 user3 like that right so tag name attribute dollar equal to and suffix for the value here tag name is input right attribute is name and dollar equal to and suffix part last part suffix means create a series selector for a child element where multiple child elements are available within the same parent element such as list element so here this is the parent element right ul id equal to fruit and other list element apple orange papaya suppose you need if, if you need to identify the papaya right if you need to perform the operation the papaya first you need to identify it right so the locating locating the element which takes papaya is possible using nth of time or last child right because it is the last child right in case first or last child we can use it first or last child but in case it is not in the first or last so we need to use the nth of the type so here Evil, right that tag name for the parent then id right add is id so you, you, you need to use has and fruits then space then the tag name for the child and nth of the type right so for papa it will be three apple it will be one and orange it will be two and for papa it is the last child right in the parent for the parent so we can also use the last child if it is apple so you can use the first child right but if it's in the middle so you have to use the nth of type so that's why you can create the CSS selector for the multiple child elements for a particular parent <laughs> what is desired capability how is it useful in terms of selenium the desired capability is a series of key values pair that store the browser properties like browser name browser versions the path of the browser driver in the system etc to determine the behavior of the browser at the runtime right so whenever we are dealing with any browser it's chrome firefox right or maybe i we need to sometimes store the browser information, versions, names, right? Name, the path where it is stored. So desired capability handle this thing with the value of series of value and key pair. Okay. It can be used to configure the driver instance of Selenium web driver. When user want to run the test case on different browser with different operating systems and version, it plays a pivotal role. So in case you are storing everything, so in case we are need to run it with the different browser combination or different OS combination, so obviously it can be useful. What will happen if you mix both thread.sleep and web driver weights in selenium sleep so what is the importance of thread.sleep right whenever you are using thread.sleep and you are giving some timeout right so if I mean, execution will be paused for that particular day five seconds ten seconds whatever you are giving right it will not go to the next step so at that step after the step it will wait for that particular time after that it will go for the execution or i mean uh, run the next climb of keep in case user use web driver weights along with the thread.sleep method then the web driver will hold the execution for a specified time and then it will follow other way. Okay. So test execution time will become more if we mix both ways. How to launch multiple Firefox and multiple any browser, i browser, Firefox browser. Suppose you need to work with two to three different windows, right? How can you open it? First, you need to set the properties, right? Path. Then web driver, driver, in case it's Firefox, Firefox, i, i driver, like that, Jiko, Jiko driver okay chrome chrome driver right you need to create an object or instance driver suppose right then you need to maximize it you need to get i mean pass some url then you need to create another instance right driver 2 okay and you need to maximize it you need to pass it similarly you can create another driver 3 instance so right you can create multiple instance right so after the multiple instance is created you can i mean uh, i mean handle with window right so you can move to the any window and you can perform the operation so that's why you can open multiple browsers at the same time how to press enter key on the text box in selenium web driver so if you want to press any enter key right in the text box right how can i do it okay we user need to use selenium enum keys with its constant enter here right first you need to identify the element then send keys then keys dot enter that's particular syntax you need to use whenever you want to Press enter key on an angular text box because text box obviously send key it is readable, right? You need to keys dot enter. How to pause a test execution for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and specified point? Already showed you, right? We need to use the thread dot sleep and milliseconds, right? By using java dot length thread dot sleeps long millisecond method, user could pause the execution for a specified time, okay? To pause 10 seconds, user need to pass parameter as 10,000 milliseconds. Why? I mean, why generally we need to use the i mean i mean uh, that particular thread dot sleep generally in normal execution whenever we are dealing with the framework obviously we should not use it because 
whenever you are giving so no matter it will wait for the particular time out right but whenever you are debugging the code right suppose some error is coming right you are not able to fix it you are not able to validate whether the next step is going or not whether that particular object is identified or not so you need to enter the thread dot slip so that it will wait for two seconds three seconds whatever defined predefined time you are giving okay and the, you can easily validate right whether it is clicking or not so it will help you to debugging but for normal execution it should not be used what will happen if user run this command right divert.get www.google.com okay you are not passing anything http or https okay so in case the url does not contain http or http prefix then an exception will be thrown so user need to pass http protocol within the divert.get method so here based on the http or https we need to pass it accordingly otherwise it will throw some exception it will not work what is the difference between divert.get url and divert.navigate to url so divert.get url you already know right you we can open any url eh? okay but it is used to open any url and to wait till the whole page is loaded okay but using the divert.navigate to url we can navigate to another url okay but it will not open till the whole page gets loaded so that is the basic difference what is the di difference between type and type and wait command type command is used to type keyboard key values into the text box of software web then right it can also be used for selecting value of combo box okay so for entering the value or selecting the value from a combo box the type can be used right whereas type and wait command is used when user typing is completed and software web page start reloading so this command will wait for the software application page to reload fully if there is no uh, page reload event on typing obviously we, will, we should we need to use type instead of type and wait Mention some of the automation tool which could be integrated with Selenium to achieve continuous testing, right? So, so you know already continuous integration, continuous development, CICD is now a days in the, I mean, very much, uh, I mean, uh, fruitful in the market, right? So Selenium can be used to automate functional test and can be integrated with the automation test tools such as Marvin, Jenkins and Dockers, right? To achieve continuous testing. It can also be integrated with the tools such as TestNG, JUnit, like these are the framework for managing test cases and generating reports. Because Selenium web driver does not have any inbuilt report, right? Okay, so we need to rely on the other external framework, test engine or JUnit, which already have these kind of features. How to compare the content of element, right? If you if we need to take, uh, verify any kind of text, right? So we need to use the assert dot assert equal, and you need to first give actual text and expected. In, in case we need to verify the title, right? So actual title and expected title. That's so you can use the assert dot sr equals in the selenium how to verify tooltips using selenium web driver so what is tooltips the tooltips is a text that appears when the mouse hovers over an object like a link image or button or text area in web page this text often gives more information about the object when it's i mean about the object on which it's appear right so you've already seen right in the any any web page like right? in the some some i mean sample i mean uh, Syntax will be there like suppose Facebook F sign, right? Google G sign, LinkedIn L sign, like that. So these are the tooltips. So if you click on that, it will give you the details. I mean <coughs> text. Okay. So tooltips were traditionally implemented as a title attribute to the element. Element. The value of this attribute is also was shown as tooltips on a mouse hover. So normally it, you can't click on the tooltips, you need to mouse over the element, right? This is the static text giving information of the element with no styling. So suppose you need to first identify the element right using the XPath or CSS selectors. Then you need to store the right title using the actual tooltips, right? Get attribute titles, right? And you can if you match with the actual with the expected tooltips, so it will in case it is passing, it will give you. So that's why you can I mean verify the tooltips. What is cookie and how uh, how to get all cookies from browser in the web driver? So cookies is comprised of information about the user and their preferences, right? So whenever you are working with web page, right? You are opening some pages, you are storing some, you are entering some user ID password, right? Sometimes it's give you, I mean, user that information, I do you want to store the password or user ID? So if you do it, so it will save, okay? So it store information using a key value pair, it is the small piece of data sent from the web application and stored in the web browsers while the user is browsing that website. So all the information browsing history, user ID, performance information already stored in the history. So that is known as cookies, right? 
if you do not remove it right so that will be stored and if you type something so that relevant information will be available already so that is the syntax driver dot manage get cookies to return all the list of cookies already you used it in your browsers for your laptop or desktop right what is an exception is web driver an exception is an error that happens at the time of execution of the program right whenever you are running the program that is the runtime execution runtime so it will throw the exception However, while running a program, program, programming languages generates an exceptions that should be handled to avoid your program to crash. If you do not uh, handle the exceptions, it will stop there or sometimes it will crash it, right? Okay. So, so it will be trouble. So, obviously, you have, need to handle all the kind of exceptions, whether it's compile times or whether it's runtime, right? Otherwise, your program will, your execution will not be successful. The exception indicates that although the event can occur, this type of events happens infrequently, right? When this method is not able to handle the exception, it is thrown to the call to its color in functions. Eventually, when an exception is thrown, uh, thrown out of the main function, the program is terminated abruptly. So it will not execute the remaining step in case exception is occurred. So you obviously need to handle the exception, otherwise, your, all the line of code will not be executed. What are the method can be used for displaying exception in the web driver? Right, there are the, these are the three important methods that can be used. One is the print track trace. This function prints track trace name of the exceptions and other useful description. And the next is two strings methods. This function returns this text message describing the exceptions name and descriptions. And get message methods. This function helps to display the description of the exception. So these are the three important methods. Right. We, I mean, uh, user can uh, use for displaying the exception in web Selenium web driver. How to download file in Selenium web driver? It is possible to download file with the Selenium web, web driver at all? No. Selenium web driver does not have any capability to access the download dialog boxes presented by the browser when you click on a download link or button. However, user can bypass this dialog box using a separate program called widget right so widget is a small and easy to use command line program used to automate downloads so basically user will access widget from their web driver skip to perform the download process so you, if you integrate it with the web driver so widget so you can also download the files using the selenium web driver but selenium web driver does not have any capability without the integration of the widget how to select date, I mean, date or time from a date picker or calendar in the web driver. So I have given an example, right? First, we need to identify the element, right? Okay. And we will storing in the web element, suppose date, time, date and time. Then date and time, we need to send keys. Suppose first, we will provide the date. Okay. Then, then we need to provide, I mean, press a tab, right? Keys dot tab. Then we need to give the time, suppose PM or AM like that. Okay. Why, is, uh, why Ajax is used in Selenium web driver? So what is Ajax? First, you need to understand. So Ajax allows the web page to retrieve small amount of data from the server without reloading the entire page, right? So if, I mean, oh, I mean, if you want to retrieve the information for a particular piece of information, right? So that information can be retrieved using the Ajax. So to test Ajax application, different web methods should be applied: thread sleep, implicit web, explicit web, fluent web, and web driver web. Creating Automating test request may be difficult for testing tools such as uh, uh, tools as Ajax application often use different encoding or serialization technique to submit the post data. So that's all 25 questions for today. So these are the list of 100 question and answers. So for automation testing and Selenium web driver only. Thank you for watching my videos.